Suppose you have a number A and you want to multiply the number by itself n times. Also, suppose this n happens to be a very large positive integer. You could end up with a very, very, very large expression and it may take you a very, very, very long time just to write it down. Can this expression be written in a simpler, less cumbersome way? Yes, indeed. To write it simply, you just write the number A and then take the number N and place it near A as you can see on your screen. It is called the nth power of A and is read as A raised to N. Here, N is called the index and A is called the base. Like most concepts in mathematics, indices are also governed by laws. These laws are very useful in solving problems involving indices. Let us now see what these laws are. As you can see, in this product, the base of both factors is the same A, while the indices of the factors are N and N respectively. In this case, the product is expressed as A raised to M plus N. For example, 2 raised to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to 3 is 2 raised to 2 plus 3, which is equal to 2 raised to 5, which is equal to 32. If you have an expression like A raised to M, the whole raised to N, it can be written as A raised to the product of M and N. In other words, it can be written as A raised to MN. To illustrate this law, let us try an example. If we have an expression 3 raised to 2, the whole raised to 3, it can be written as 3 raised to 2 into 3, which is equal to 3 raised to 6, which in turn is equal to 729. What you can see on the screen now is the simplified expression for a product as we had seen earlier. Now, instead of a product, if you had a quotient, the simplified expression would be A raised to M minus N. It is as simple as that. As always, let us try out an example. An expression such as x raised to 3 divided by 2x raised to 4 can be simplified as x raised to 3 minus 4 divided by 2. This can be further simplified as x raised to minus 1 divided by 2. If the index is a quotient, as you can see in the expression on the screen, it can be simplified as the nth root of a raised to m. Ahem. Simplified may not be the best choice of words here, but that is exactly what the law states. I think the law will become clearer with an example. According to the law, the value of 2 raised to 5 by 2 would be the square root of 2 raised to 5. So far, we have worked with indices having the same base and we have made some steady progress with rules governing them. Now, let us see a couple of cases where the bases are different. The expression a b whole raised to n can be simplified as a raised to m into b raised to m. Using this law, the expression 4 into 3 into 2 whole raised to 2 can be written as 4 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 2 
into 2 raised to 2, the value of which is 576. If instead of the product